Hi everyone, welcome back to the Node.js tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about global object. Node.js global objects are global in nature and uh, they are available in all modules. We do not need to include these objects in our application, rather we can use them directly. These objects are modules, functions, or strings and uh, object itself. So let's see some global object. First, uh, let's see console global object. Console is uh, used to print different levels of messages. There are built-in uh, methods to be used for printing informational, warning, and error messages. Okay. So let's see. Uh, use the cons use the console global object. So inside, uh, go to the project. And inside this index.js file, just type here console dot log, and inside the log method, just pass here the message hello world. Okay. Now save the file and. Uh, Uh, <clears throat> run this uh, run this index.js file so switch to the command prompt and here just type node space index.js okay you can see here hello world all right now let's see another uh, global object which is underscore underscore file name the underscore underscore file name represents the file name of the code being executed okay this is the uh, resolved absolute path of the code file so let's see so just go to the project and just type here inside the console log method just print the underscore underscore file name okay now switch to the command prompt it will print absolute path of this file okay index.js file so switch to the command prompt and just uh, rerun index.js file so type here on uh, node space index.js and press enter you can see here the absolute path of index.js file okay now let's see the underscore underscore dir name uh, global object. The dir underscore underscore dir name global object represents the name of the directory that the currently executing a script in uh, resides in. Okay, so inside the index.js file, uh, file, just type here console dot log. And here, just type your underscore underscore the name. Okay. Now save the file and rerun the index.js file. So switch to the command prompt and just type here node space index.js. And you can see here the absolute path of the node.js pro folder. Okay. Now let's see the set timeout global object. Set timeout global function is uh, used to run callback function after at given milliseconds. Okay, so let's use set timeout. So in inside the index.js file, just type here set timeout. And inside the same of time timeout, create a callback function. So just type here function okay. Inside the function, just write here console dot log and just print here hello. Okay. And Inside the set timeout, just pass here the another parameter which is uh, time, okay, in millisecond. 
so just pass here 1000 here 1000 milliseconds uh, <coughs> 1000 millisecond is equal to 1 second okay now save the file and uh, let's rerun the index.js file so here just type and you can see here after 1 second hello text is printed okay all right now next global object is a set interval so set interval global object is used to run callback function repeatedly after given time interval okay let's see the set interval so here just type here set interval okay and inside the set interval interval first parameter is callback function and second parameter is time okay in milliseconds so let's save and let's check so go to the command prompt and just rerun the index.js file and you can see here hello text is printing continuously after one second okay all right now let's see uh, clear interval okay clear interval global function is used to stop a timer so here uh, make some changes for using clear timeout so just uh, type here create a variable where timer is equal to this okay and first of all create a variable where time is equal to 1 and inside this callback function uh, first of all check uh, in increment in time so just type here time plus plus and after that let's check if time is greater than 5 then clear the interval so type a clear interval and pass the timer timer just copy and paste here all right it means after 5 second it will uh, stop the timer okay so now save the file and uh, let's check so run the index.js file and you can see here hello 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 fourth and fifth time after five it stopped okay so in this way you can use global object in node.js so that's all about node.js uh, in uh, global object in node.js so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching